No, I haven't told y'all the story about when I was in the middle of the shootout. I am working with an investor. He's buying these fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollar houses back in the nineties. I mean, these are just terrible houses. We go down, and this guy has actually hired a bodyguard to go with us. We're in such a rough section, but it was an investor, and he was buying these properties, you know, to help kind of get the areas, get the communities, get the neighborhoods put back together. We have a bodyguard that goes down with us and I'm showing him this house at 2nd Avenue and Memorial Drive. I'll never forget this as long as I live. So we're at 2nd Avenue and Memorial Drive in East Atlanta. No lie, a gunfight breaks out at the corner and we are down, hunky down, squatting down, like, don't get us, don't get us, and the bodyguard's got us covered up. I got through with that showing and I was like, I do not need to be showing houses like this. This is not this is not safe for me. Like I have a small child. I do not need to be down here. So sure enough, that was the last time I showed those houses to that guy because it just wasn't safe, but it was terrible. Lord have mercy, but I did not get shot. We came away unharmed. He did make a bid on that house and he did not get it. But guess what? Some other guy got it and that guy, Ali, I'll never forget Ali. Ali owned 200 Section 8 houses. This is back in the 90s. I wonder whatever happened to him. Ollie. And do you know that that house is no longer there now? It is now some fancy smancy million dollar home. Maybe Ollie's up there in North Carolina with Mr. Cruz and his 500 Section 8 houses.